Agro Invest Corporation is giving much needed support to our farmers by connecting them with Jamaicans wanting fresh local fruits and vegetables while observing physical distancing. They did so by providing a drive through service. The drive through farmers market, the first of its kind in Jamaica, was a success. PBCJ's Gabrielle Thompson was at the drive through farmers market and she filed this report. As the popular Jamaican adage goes, you have a Tonya Hanna McFashion. An agro-investment corporation has proven that with day two of its drive through farmer's market. The company's CEO says it has serviced and delivered over 1,000 bags of produce, 20 and 25 pounds to Jamaicans. We take a look at how the operation has been going and hear feedback from the CEO. Motorists entering the AMC complex wearing masks were subject to a temperature check before going through a simple process. Drive to the tent labeled pay here, drive a few feet more to collect bags weighing either 20 or 25 pounds containing freshly harvested fruits and vegetables. The turnaround time was a mere five minutes. The bags were sold out within five hours. But because a lot of people are coming by 10 bags, 15 bags, 30 bags, and we try to supply it. In the last part, we have to say no more than four bags because they were going so fast. And that's why we are feeling so slow today. Persons had complained about the traffic, the time to wait, and then some person said, here what? I paid the full price, 1000 or 1500 I didn't get everything I wanted in my bag. Can you tell me what you guys are planning to do to ensure that this doesn't happen again? Well, it's a very challenging situation because we ask farmers to provide carrots, cucumber, melon. When you go to pick up the carrots, they say no carrots. But we had advertised that before. Or they will say, uh, we don't have any scallion, but that was advertised. So because the farmers at that end are the determinant of what we get, it becomes a challenging thing to assure customers or consumers that they will always have this. But next time, what we're going to do, we're going to say, you get a mixture of all of these. So if we advertise 10, you may get eight of the item. But this is our first try at it. And I think we got through about, I'll put scores at 95%. According to Mr. Powell, the planning committee is reviewing the challenges experienced with traffic as persons entering the complex had lengthy delays. There are plans to invite other farmers to meet the need of consumers. So instead of just getting farmers from our agro-parks who may have limited supplies, we can get farmers from St. Elizabeth, from St. Thomas, from St. Mary, from St. Anne, and load the place here and get as much time to package the thing. Because one of the challenges we have for the long wait is because people, we have to package the thing and we don't have as much resources. And we didn't want to group, have a group larger than 10 because we'll be breaching one of the Ministry of Health thing, and so on. But next time, I'm sure you'll see improvement, more products, and better assortment. Another drive through market is planned as many farmers will be harvesting soon. The drive through farmers market is not only helping consumers source fresh produce safely, it's also supporting the local economy. I applaud the Jamaicans how they came out and basically encouraged their friends, their families to come out as well and to really take care of the farmers. What we want to tell the farmers that they need not talk about gluts. They need not talk about can't get the crops to sell because we are here to provide consumers with crops and the driving is proving to be a successful um, approach to how we can dispose of the crops. And consumers, we are getting the very best price for you. So please be prepared to come back smiling and have good quality products at good price. For the news on PBCJ, I'm Gabrielle Thompson.